First thing we're gonna start with is lasagna. Um, so everything I have here, we have fresh basil. I'm gonna make a quick sauce for the lasagna. I This is the pasta I use, and you know what? Life's a lot easier. They now sell the no boil oven ready pasta. Why make your life harder? Just buy that. Um, I do a mix of beef and pork. Um, so I use the Premio Sweet Italians. I don't do any spicy meat or, and I don't do veal in my lasagna. I buy the whole mozzarella like this that we're gonna shred. Got an onion ready to saute, and we're gonna get started. Let's get our sauce on first. We're gonna get the pork and beef browning. This is a nice flat skillet. And in the pot over there, we're gonna start getting our sauce together. This beef, I will drain, unlike when I do the turkey. And the reason is because this will have a good amount of fat in it. And making lasagna, I don't want that fat to boil to the top or become real watery either. I don't want watery lasagna. So we're gonna brown this, drain it, clean the pan. We'll saute an onion as well. Onions and garlic in the oil, um, olive oil. I use the good olive oil when I make sauce. Just let this out. And I am doing a mix of crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and um, tomato puree. My lasagna. And we're just kind of constantly keep turning the meat, brown it, cook all this fat out of it. So you can buy the mozzarella pre-shredded. Um, this is on sale at ShopRite. And it's, I, I do whole milk mozzarella, whole milk uh, ricotta. So good old cheese grater and free labor. The kids are home and this is like how I get them involved and it's fun. Gavin's picking the basil off our basil plant and Logan's gonna shred some cheese for me. Beef is drained and in the bowl I make some egg, Parmesan. I don't season my meat in the pan once I drain it, put it in here. Now I season it, salt, pepper, Parmesan, some fresh chopped parsley and the ricotta. And I mix all of this together. This is my filling that I'm gonna use to layer between my pasta and sauce and mozzarella. That's getting still grated. We're gonna put the lasagna together now. Took our pasta out, that's the three baked sheets. Our marinara seasoned it up, have our filling all mixed, and the boys did a fantastic job shredding the cheese. So, I put sauce on the bottom of the pan. I don't use sauce in between my layers because I don't want it to get too wet. Sauce on the bottom. We're gonna line our pasta. I kind of overlay just a little bit. And break it up. Nice scoop of filling. I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna use my hand. I'm at home, it's my family, we're all good, and my hands are washed. But I just did a potato latkes. So, put it filling throughout. And then some fresh mozzarella that's shredded. I don't have to add Parmesan in between the layers because I already put the Parmesan in my mixed filling. So, I'm gonna do it all over again with the pasta like this. And we're gonna continue, and I'm gonna make probably around three trays of this. I trayed up the lasagna. So now this is a full tray of lasagna that I knew I was gonna have a little extra, didn't know if I'd be able to make a whole nother one and actually was a little short. So I had some fresh mozz in the fridge and I cut it up, added it with a little extra parm on top. This one is a little shallow compared to that one. So that's a three layer of lasagna and this is a two layer lasagna. Uh, I'm gonna pop these in the oven so that they can start cooking. Probably around 30, 40 minutes in the oven at 350. Going in now. Taking out the lasagnas. See how golden brown and beautiful they are on top. 